Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 3rd of August, where I set up just one of our signals from our membership area for potential fifth wave trades on stocks. So in the members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every single day on potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame and similarly on short fifth wave trades and we also have the new stochastic long and stochastic short trade signals as well. Today I want to concentrate on potential longs on a longer term swing like a try and do on a Friday. So for today on the 3rd of August our members would simply click on this image and download the spreadsheet for today which looks like this. So this are, these are the potential longs, so Hewlett Packard for example, um, and quite a few others on the weekly time frame. So these are longer term fifth wave longs here, which could take three, maybe six months sometimes depending on volatility to reach their target. So let's have a look at the chart and look at one of these for today. So I've looked at EMN. On the weekly time frame EMN I'm using our indicator suite on the ninja trader nt8 platform it's also available for multi charts trade station and think or swim so first of all we can see this has had a really strong growth spurt over the last year or so I've isolated for those members that have got our indicator suite I've isolated the lows down here um, around about 2016 these lows here you will see them on the chart there on the weekly chart all these lows and then our indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott wave sequence the wave one the wave two the three and the four and it's the wave four that we're really important in, interested in right now because we want to trade that fifth wave that's the highest probability move we've had a really long strong impulse lag on a wave three which is normal and, and then it pulls back on some profit taking and then we've got to look at how that wave four performs to look at an entry to go long for that fifth wave move. So let's zoom in here. Let's have a look. So initially we've got three main filters for the stat scanner membership here. So first of all, we've had a wave four. We've had a pullback against the main trend. That's hit one of our automated probability zones here. The, it found support in the top of the end of the green zone. Now the green zone represents an 85% probability going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue around about 118 dollars is the top end of there the next thing we want to see how the wave four performs is on the 535 oscillator and that needs to pull back on this wave four between 19 and 140 percent as you can see on that measurement there we just tipped in to between 19 and 140 just gone red this week now the next one we look at is our stochastic indicator. There's two things on here. The yellow dots in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish trend. Now, when that happens and we get a pullback against there and we've crossed over in the oversold zone this week, it is likely that it wants to return to that really strong bullish momentum there in the stochastic. So with the 535, the stochastic crossing over against that strong bullish trend, uh, with the wave 4 finding a good support in one of our high probability zones, we're looking like a really strong high probability fifth wave move. So the entry is reasonably simple here. Since our wave 4 low, remember each candle is a week. We've had some indecision candles here, but we're getting these higher, high, higher lows. We have rejected them this week, and it could come back and pull back further. But at this moment in time, we've got our entry with a risk to reward being sensible here. Over 105.07 is the entry. The stop loss is just below the wave four, around about 97.81, something like that. And then we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into our target zone here, around about $117 into the middle of that target zone. So we've gone reasonably conservative outside the 6.4 moving average high, which is a green moving average here, which is part of our indicator suite. And this is a leading moving average. So this helps us with our uh, entry strategies, but also it's above the whole $105 mark and also a way above the high of this week. So we're giving it chance. If this wants to pull back down and make a further wave for low into this zone, find more support. We will allow that to happen. 
we will then look to alter our entry strategy. But at this moment in time, going into next week, this is our entry strategy. And it's a good one to put on your watch list. Keep an eye on if that wave four holds and it pulls back up above $105. Really good potential swing trade there. But this, again, you would look to, uh, if you're going to go options, you've got to go at least four months into the future, if not six months, really. Uh, and again, if you're trading stocks, I would uh, get in there on physical stocks and look to hold that for at least six months once it goes through $105. So that's it for today. Uh, potential long fifth wave move on a weekly time frame, so a longer term swing opportunity there. So have a great training day, have a great weekend, and I look forward to doing another video for you on Monday.